everyone, welcome back for another wow. We have some announcements for you. So our first announcement, we are now offering virtual tastings from your home. So you're able to purchase a flight of seven reds or whites. They come pre-packaged, so you'll get a flight of seven, four ounces, so you can split it with your partner. Um, if you have a dog, you don't have to share, so you're in luck. Yeah. We have a pre-recorded video that we will share with you, so you're able to taste along with Ashley and I. And we will take you through the tasting and walk you through each wine and talk about it. And you can take the experience that we usually give you here and right into the comfort of your own home. So that's a great thing because now if we have some new releases, we can definitely try those as always. So those standard flights are available right online. If you go right to our online stores, LuggabeeVineyards.com slash shop, uh, you can view them. Um, we do charge $5 for any additional samples. So if you're ever interested in something that's not on there, um, you'll see there's an additional sample button. And in the notes, you'll just leave us which wine you want to taste, and we'll make sure that that gets to you with the rest of your package. Both well, for shipping or pickup, so whichever you prefer. Or local delivery within 60 miles of the winery. We're doing a last call. So if we have some wines that are about to run out, we have Bruner, Lemberger, and Semi-Dry Riesling. We only have a couple bottles of this left. And Semi-Dry Riesling will obviously be 20 and yeah, and that only has a couple of cases left. So, um, as well as the 2017 Bruner and our 2016 Lemberger, we only have a few left, and those are really, really delicious wines. So you don't want to miss out. Don't miss our out. last announcement: We just want to say a big thank you to every single person that has supported us and that continues to support us because we appreciate it more than you know. Thank you. We really do appreciate it. We will continue to update you guys as we get information on reopening from the governor. So stay tuned on our website, our Facebook and Instagram. That is where the info will be. Um, if you haven't joined our mailing list yet, our email list, you can do so right on our website. And that will get you uh, the latest news from Zuckerby. And once we know, we'll be putting it out to you guys. So yeah, uh, we can't wait to have you back in here. Yeah. Anyways, let's get into the wine of the week. Woo! So this week we're talking about semi-dry Riesling. And we'll touch just briefly on Riesling overall because we haven't really done one yet besides our bubbly. Riesling is actually the most widely planted varietal in the Finger Lakes. And New York State actually has the most Riesling planted in the United States. So that's actually right here at our Finger Lakes home. So our region has the most Riesling out there. In New York State, there are over 1,000 acres of Riesling planted. And we're producing over 100,000 cases of Riesling a year in New York State. So Riesling that's is crazy. kind of... The most well-known grape in the region, and it's known as the jewel of the Finger Lakes, because much like its native land in Germany, is our climate. Very similar, cool climate, um, sometimes extreme climate, as we may refer to it. As most of you know who have been around, it, it was snowing in 32 yesterday, and it's 51 and sunny today. So, yeah, New York State for you. Extreme climate. Makes it a little bit more difficult to grow grapes overall. Um, you know, we have different challenges. But overall, that cool climate drives a really high acidity to the grape, which is what really makes Riesling taste so extra delicious, that mouth-watering acidity. And that's kind of why we love it here in the region. Ranges from being bone dry to really nice and sweet. So if people tell you that Riesling is always sweet, don't believe them. They're lying to you. No. <laughs> Riesling can be made in any style. Um, so... Today we've chosen one that's right in the middle of the road to pair for you. And the fun thing about semi-dry Riesling is it's balanced. So uh, with any wine, if you take that residual sugar and you're balancing it with the acidity, it's not going to come off super sweet on the palate, um, even if there is quite a bit of sugar in it. It's definitely going to seem a little bit sweeter. It's got lots of fruit notes, but it's got that really nice crisp acidity to finish you off and leave you hanging dry. It's well, definitely a pickle balance. pleaser. It's a great wine to grab when you don't know who's going to like what, because usually almost every single person find enjoyment in the middle of a good wine. Let's talk specifically about our 2017 semi-dry Riesling that we have in front of us yeah. here today. We only have a couple cases left, like I already said. I'm reiterating. We only have a couple le cases left of this bad boy. So if you really like the 17, you better get it. And don't worry, once it sells out, we're ready to release our new 2018 semi-dry Riesling. So a funny thing about Riesling that I get a lot in the tasting room, I thought Riesling was red. I get that more often than okay. a lot of things. Yeah. So Riesling is a white wine. It comes from green grapes. Kind of a hint of Riesling when you're looking at your glass, um, especially through, you know, onto some white paper or something, you'll notice green flecks there. You'll notice it's got kind of that, um, it's not quite that straw yellow that you get with a Chardonnay or that golden color. It's a little more pale and um, kind of greenish hues and bright, very bright. Riesling is a fun grape to smell. 
smell. It is. I would say that especially from our vineyard, recently from our vineyard, it always takes in this really nice floral component and it's always like smelling a fresh bouquet of flowers. Right. So with like a bunch of fruit added at the top. <laughs> it is Mother's Day, so uh, yeah. happy Mother's Day to our moms and all the other moms watching. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. Happy late Mother's Sorry, Day. Sorry, it's a little late. Yeah. <laughs> happy Mother's Day, Dad. <laughs> happy Mother's Day, Don. <laughs> Cheers to you. Cheers to the mom. So Riesling is actually, in fact, the most ageable varietal out there. There are some Rieslings lasting hundreds of years in the bottle and still tasting beautiful. What you're used to in a bright, fresh, young Riesling like this one is going to be a lot different than an aged Riesling. Uh, we had the pleasure of tasting through a few of our vintage Rieslings for some club members last week, um, including our 2007 Riesling, which was the first one we ever produced here from our vineyard. And you'll notice an aged Riesling gains a lot of beautiful color, and it also um, gains a lot of a petrol note, so a little more of that mineral and gassy and petrol notes, and kind of takes away from the fruit. But what you're seeing here in this 2017 is bright and young, um, and you'll get kind of that subtle hint of the petrol, as you notice it's very um, subtly starting that bottle aging. So now after we uh, smell and swirl, we usually give her a sip, my favorite part. Some common fruit notes in Riesling are um, stone fruit, for example, peach or apricot, as well as tree fruit, you like apples and pears. I thought it was apricot. I've always said apricot, but I've heard apricot. apricot. Is it apricot, apricot or apricot? Tomatoes, tomatoes. Apricots, apricots. Well, what do you say? Do you say apricot or apricot? But you'll also get tree fruit, like pear and apple. That's another really common descriptor, and I do get a little bit of that. I definitely get a little bit of that juicy peach. No. I get a lot of pineapple. That's yeah, one that I really like. Yeah. So milk. like if I were to have a luau, this is the one I'd break out in my hula skirt. If this video gets over a thousand views, Sarah will dance a hula skirt for you while drinking a whole bottle of this wine. I might even put on a coconut bra. Um, we need the coconut bra to be donated, but we do have the grass skirt. So perfect. So if you have a coconut bra, let us know. <laughs> This one definitely like, takes on that jasmine flower and those awesome, like, tropical fruits. And it's so. fun to see those fruit, fruity notes come together with that floral note and that subtle minerality. And you get this really well-rounded, um, beautifully like really balanced bright, wine. Yeah, it's very bright and just really Easy. nice to sip. Yeah, it's great, great sip on. Wine. Um, but it's even better with what we're about to pair it with, uh, which is Ichiro. Really cool Japanese hibachi spa right on Exchange Street in Geneva, so right downtown. I've been living in Geneva for like six years, and I eat from Ichiro at least once a week. Definitely. It's delicious. It's my third time this week. <laughs> excellent service, excellent food every time. And I will say like A++ on the to-go packaging because everything is like separated, hot and cold via, you know, your sushi and salad is in one thing. Um, your hot food is in these containers that keep it hot for so long. And super easy to order online. They're open every day of the week except Tuesdays. Um, 11.30 a.m. for lunch all the way until 9 p.m. And then Friday and Saturdays, they have that extended hour until 10 p.m. Check them out. Um, if you haven't had it yet, you're totally missing out. We went with the bachi entrees, of course, but we also had a few sides because Ashley, she goes ham every time in the wild video. You know, she buys like two dinners. For so. those of you who have never had hibachi before, um, hibachi, you pick a main entree, um, for example, steak, scallops, or shrimp. I got a combination of... Um, filet mignon and scallops and it always comes with either a choice of fried rice or fried noodles um, vegetables and a couple little shrimp as you know a part of the, the menu normally if you were sitting having the hibachi they'd be throwing the shrimp and broccoli in your mouth yeah um, and you would get everything kind of course by course their clear soup which is like a chicken broth with some um, fried onions and mushroom just super delicious like typical hibachi soup yep that's One included, of my favorites. included as well as your salad which comes with this delicious creamy Want to buy that? Yeah, I'm gonna take that home. <laughs> my favorite food known to man will be my crab ragoons here. And, and keep so. watching because they might be disappearing. <laughs> <laughs> and crab ragoons are like this fried wonton, and inside is um, imitation crab and cream cheese, and it comes with this yummy, like sweet chili sauce to dip in. My favorite sushi roll on the menu, and I've had almost all of them, would be this bad boy right here which is called the Ichiro Special Roll. Um, this one is kind of the works. It comes with a tempura shrimp, mango, avocado, rice, and it's got um, crab on top. 
And it sounds crazy. If you haven't had sushi before, you don't like raw, you don't like this, this is a fun one to try because it's cooked. It's such a value, people. This place is a value. You get, you get so much value. Quality bang for your and quantity, yeah. and you just can't go wrong. I got an addition to all of this. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> On Sorry. top of everything. And Sarah also got. I got the filet mignon. So it's just steak, and you get the side of fried noodles and the vegetables. So uh, we're going to dig in now. We'll see mm -hmm. on the flip. Yeah. 20 pounds heavier. Yeah, and, and uh, I may or may not try to use my chopsticks, guys, you know? Oh, yeah. Straight up. actually a really good pair with Japanese food, Asian food in general, partly because of the Asian food's umami flavor. Umami is a little bit different than anything like um, salty, bitter, sweet. Those are kind of all their own categories. Um, and umami kind of covers that savory, meaty thing that happens. Um, and also like the addition of soy sauce to dishes, yeah. um, fish, cooked meats, things like that, stewed vegetables. Um, so Riesling really complements that, and that was something I absolutely loved about it. You get kind of that savoriness with the scallops and the steak, um, and then the Riesling kind of brings you back to that bright, fresh, fruity note. Excellent pair with the mango and that sushi, too. There was so mango good, and avocado yeah. in that sushi, and the Riesling, that tropical pineapple note, just tasty. Yeah. Something else to keep in mind um, is sweet and heat. So if you're getting some of those spicier Asian cuisines, um, this sweetness level is right in the middle, so it's it's really nice to take the edge off that spiciness. We, as that would be a favorite pairing with semi-dry Riesling for us, is blue cheese. So if you have a salad with like a bright, lively dressing and some crumbly blue cheese, semi-dry Riesling is killer. Guys, thanks so much for your support. Thanks for continuing to watch. Um, thank you, Dave and Nancy Struss, for bringing Sarah an article on how to avoid her glasses fogging up oh. with her face mask on. It's, I think, a game changer for her hair. Thanks so, for the shout so out. Grateful. They give us encouragement. Because yeah. It's actually not that easy to just get in front of a camera and film yourself talking about things. Yeah. And don't forget, semi dry Riesling on sale 20% off all week. And it's on sale Mike right at the online store. And you can call us. Thanks, guys, for tuning in on another week of Wow. We'll see you next Wednesday because we'll still be in quarantine. Yeah. See you then. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow, energy, y'all. Cheers. You put up with kids like us? God bless you. <laughs> Throughout the region, you're going to find everything from shape to uh, shape. The quarantine food. Wow.